Good morning, Chasm listeners. This is Ryan Rostein, a wildlife habitat specialist with Stearns County Soil and Water Conservation District, and this is your weekly conservation report. Before I get into it here, I really got to give a big thanks to my coworker Kelly Molitor. Uh, she was kind enough to cover for me a few weeks back while I was out west on a hunting trip, so I've got to thank her for stepping up for me there. Uh, but this week I want to get into ice fishing. I know I started to see a lot of ice houses popping up on the lakes, uh, mostly portable, some people fishing on open ice still. So it's definitely that time of year, even though we might be a little bit later than we'd like to be. Um, so today I thought I might talk about some early season ice fishing tips for panfish. Um, and as always, I got to start with safety. You know, DNR always likes to remind us that no ice is 100% safe, and we've definitely had some goofy weather switches here the last month or so. Uh, so more than anything, just make sure the ice you're going on is safe. Uh, you know, if you're getting out there on foot, make sure, I personally like to make sure there's at least four inches just because I'm a big dude. Um, some people are comfortable with less, but just make sure you know what you're getting into. If you're looking to get your side-by-side -side or snowmobile out there or your four-wheeler, um, usually you want to be in that five to, five to seven inch range of ice. Um, and obviously for trucks, we're not there yet in most of the central Minnesota area, so... I'm um, going to have to wait a little bit to get the trucks out there. But uh, once you do get out on the lake, the biggest thing, you know, most of you, if you've listened to me here before, um, I'm much more of a deer hunter than an ice fisherman. So I had to consult uh, Dr. Google to get some ice fishing tips so that I can at least steer you right. But uh, according to Dr. Google, one of the biggest things in early season ice fishing is location and finding those weed edges that uh, might still have some green weeds to them. Uh, from the fall. Uh, crappies like to group up and suspend along these weed edges and one of the biggest things especially getting out for one of the first times of the year is drill multiple holes and be able to cover a different range of depths until you can find schools of crappies. Uh, sometimes it's a bit of a cat and mouse game right away this time of year just trying to find the fish but typically once you're on them um, if you can find the fish and work them a little bit oftentimes you can have success and sometimes it can come down to following a school. Uh, if you get on fish and you're starting to have a little luck and all of a sudden the fish move off, uh, sometimes you got to pick up shop and drill a few more holes until you can relocate them uh, and start working them again. As far as gear goes, personally, and uh, according to Dr. Google, they also agreed with this, I like to use an ultralight combo rod and reel, ice fishing rod and reel. Um, I prefer two-pound tests. I would go no more than four pound test. And the reason for this is just because in central Minnesota, boy, it sure seems a lot of times like those panfish can be finicky. Um, a lot of people fish in this area and they're used to having bait in front of their face. So sometimes it pays to have that ultralight finesse tackle. Um, it's always good to go with somewhere between a 164th to a 132nd ounce jig. Um, nice and small, not overly small, but small enough to. Uh, get them interested and I like to tip it with either a wax worm or a euro larva. Um, sometimes if you get on fish it's nice to have a second rod and reel down with a crappie minnow on it uh, and a bobber just so you have that extra extra rod down. Um, and in terms of actually working the fish when you're jigging always try to stay slightly above the fish. Um, usually I prefer to work slow and light um, jigging above the fish, using uh, electronics to notice where the fish are on the graph, and then following my uh, my lure down and trying to stay slightly above them. And a lot of times, they'll if they're interested, they'll start coming up towards you. And I like to continue working up slowly as they follow. Um, I think we all dream of panfish that hit nice and hard. You know, no doubt that it's a bite. You feel it right away, and you can get a good hook set on them. But oftentimes you got to watch out for those uh, lighter biting fish. And uh, this can be where a spring bobber can come in handy, which is just something that attaches right to the end of the rod um, and is really, really sensitive to those light bites. You know, sometimes where the, the panfish will just suck the bait in essentially. Um, so watch out for those extra light bites. And uh, if you get out ice fishing over the holidays here, I wish you good luck and I wish you a safe and uh, happy travels with that. The other thing I wanted to talk about today is uh, the Stearns County Soil and Water Conservation District tree sales. Uh, as with last year, the tree sales have been going very fast this year. Um, we are out of quite a few species already, but we do still have some species in stock. Um, many of these 
are getting down there to where there's only a few bundles of trees left. So um, as of midweek, we still have these species available. In terms of deciduous trees, we still have mountain ash, we have basswood, we have paper birch, uh, we also have burr oak. In terms of shrubs, we've got common lilac, choke cherry, crab apple, gray dogwood, elderberry, nanny berry, and then for conifers, we do still have white spruce and black hill spruce, and we've also got northern white cedar. Um, so again, if you're looking to get some trees, whether you're planting a windbreak or just looking for some uh, wildlife plantings for next spring, I'd encourage you to get on our website and get those ordered sooner than later because, as I mentioned, our inventory is running low. Even though we still have most of these species in stock, we are running low on many of them. So if you're looking to uh, get those trees ordered, I'd encourage you to do that sooner than later. Um, if you need to get a hold of us, we are in the Marketplace Mall in Waite Park right next to Pizza Ranch. You can always contact our office at 320-251-7800, extension 3. And again, this has been Ryan Rostein, the Wildlife Habitat Specialist with Stearns County Soil and Water Conservation District. And this has been your weekly conservation report.